Good morning, clouds. So I figured in today's video, we would just spend the day together. It's Friday morning. We're about to get this thing popping. First, go check out my Instagram because I just started this new 30-day challenge where I want you guys to join in, of course. So basically, we're just going to talk about all the things we're grateful for through those 30 days. So this is just a little strategy to help you guys remember to always count your blessings. And of course, I also give a little inspirational insights on some of the posts. So yeah, go check that out and don't forget to join in on the challenge. I can't wait to hear what you guys are grateful for. Also, I just launched my business Instagram, so go follow me at Sky Beauty Co. All the other names are taken, so that sucks. But go follow me. I will be posting pictures and a little background information and all that soon. And I really just can't wait to share it with you guys. But I do want to have a couple followers before I start posting. So yeah, please go follow me. I will follow you back. I promise. <laughs> okay, so let's get this day started. First, we are going to go take a shower because your girl gets night sweats all the time. It's kind of really gross, actually. <laughs> Does anyone else get night sweats? No, just me. Okay. <laughs> I've been having like some crazy dreams and for some reason like in my dreams I'm like running and I'll be sweating in my dreams, but I'll actually be sweating in real life too. It's kind of gross. So yeah, I'm gonna go shower. Be right back. Okay, so I just hopped out the shower. I wanted to show you guys what I clean my face with because I think it's a really cool trick. So I use this Hydro Boost just to exfoliate my face. It's really good. It's from Neutrogena. It's very gentle for sensitive skin. And then if I ever need to do a detox clay mask, I do this about once or twice a week just to give you guys a little back information. And then I put this serum on every night. It's the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Hydrating Overnight Gel Mask, which is a must because I just wake up and my face is so hydrated. And I always apply it with this little rubber utensil. But the best part about this whole care routine I had to get the hand movement in there, sorry you guys, is this aloe vera soap. Now let me tell you, aloe vera is like the natural cure-all, so if you don't have any of these, at least have aloe vera soap for your body and face because it really is a lifesaver. Okay, so of course we're gonna brush our teeth. Okay, and now I'm gonna show you guys a little trick just because since I got my eyebrows waxed, I've been having a crazy breakout. So pretty much all you're gonna wanna do is grab some toothpaste, any kind of toothpaste. Make sure it's like at least extra whitening. Then what you do, you're just going to apply the gel right on top of the pimples. And relax for about two hours and pray to God that you don't see anyone. <laughs> but yeah, this trick really works. I know it's a little silly, but there's something about the whitening in the toothpaste that just zaps out zits. So yeah, try it at home, let me know what you think. I'm gonna go get dressed. Okay, so I'm not done getting dressed and I'm still waiting for this to dry, but just so you guys know, if you're in Arizona, I have the perfect person to hook you up with. Her name is Dr. Denise Garcia, and she's the one who did my lip fillers, and then I'm also going in to see her in October when I'm back in Arizona to do a hydro facial. So yeah, I just wanted to give you guys that little link for my Arizona followers. I will also have her information down below. So yeah, I'm gonna continue to get ready. Be right back. Okay, so I'm now dressed and I just removed the leftover toothpaste off my face and you can see it kind of got rid of some of the irritation. I'll do another treatment tonight, but yeah, it really does help. So I just wanted to share that tip with you guys and also I try to drink at least three water bottles before 12. So right now I'm just working on my cosmetic line. I wanted to give you guys behind the scenes information about the process. So currently I'm just trying to narrow down my names for all the five lipsticks that I'm gonna be coming up with. I did get on Instagram and ask you guys which names you would prefer. So hopefully you guys got in on that. If not, make sure to follow me on my Instagram and my business Instagram to get more involved with this process because it's honestly so much fun and I just love sharing this stuff with you guys because I want it to be personal and about you guys as well as about me. So yeah, let me show you guys some of the colors I have picked. I'm like so indecisive, so I don't know if I really like these colors, if I'm really gonna go with these colors, but it's just like a rough draft right now. I'm picking out colors that look good on every skin type, and I have all the colors that I wear on a regular basis, so hopefully you guys like them. You ready for the sneak peek? Okay, so these are the colors that I'm considering. Sorry, you guys probably can't see them that well on the laptop because it's a little funky, the lighting. But yeah, you guys get the idea. I'm trying to look for a really mauve shade, a nude, but like not a nude nude shade. Like I always wear a deeper nude, like Cosmo Lips or Moon Lip Kit from Kylie, both from Kylie. 
And then this deep red is so pretty. I don't really wear red, but like if it's pretty enough and it looks good on my skin tone, pretty light if you guys can't tell. Then I will wear red, and I think this red is gonna look really good on a lot of skin tones. But if not, I do have a more brighter red for those who like rocking a bright lip. And then I also have like a deep, not so, not really deep, but kind of deep purple. It's a purple that my friend Kishana picked out. So I thought that was a really cute and different option. It gives me a chance to play around with makeup as well as you guys if you guys don't explore much. So yeah, I'm just gonna get back to finalizing the names, finalizing my logo. I have a really cute logo coming in. Hopefully it'll be here Monday. Can't wait to share it with you guys. And then I also am going to be talking to a lawyer later on today. So yeah, really just working on my business today and just trying to finalize everything early so that I can actually launch on time. Hopefully, fingers crossed, but a lot of stuff does come up. So guys, it's not stressing a timeline or anything, just saying. Okay, so if anything exciting happens, I will check in with you guys. I pretty much have just been finalizing the shade colors and doing my website design. And I'm taking a little break to cook dinner. I'm gonna be cooking beef with broccoli, onions, and garlic, and it's gonna be so good. So I figured I would share the process with you guys. <laughs> so I just chopped up a couple chunks of steak. Then I have some garlic and onions and broccoli that I'm about to saute in this pan right here. First, we're going to be grabbing the Next is the onions. And then let that simmer for about three minutes. If you guys are wondering what time it is now, it is exactly 4.20, so I plan on having this dinner ready by five, just because I'm old fashioned and I love to eat by five. Mason calls me crazy, but it's just like a thing of mine. Okay, so now that the onions are all buttered and kind of sauteed, we're gonna be adding the broccoli. That was not messy at all. <laughs> okay, so I just threw the steak in there and now I'm just pouring a little bit of soy sauce to give it an extra flavor. And I season everything with salt, pepper, and garlic powder. And then I'm also boiling water for rice. If anyone doesn't know what Minute Made rice is, it's like heaven, so just get it. Get with the program. So we're just gonna focus on making sure the meat gets cooked until it's ready. I'm gonna have a Coke with ice for dinner. Just one today, I'm trying to I like slow down my function of Coke. So I'm going to transport this into this and then put this in there. So I have the oven set for 350 and I'm just going to bake it. It's warming up right now. I'm just going to bake it just so that everything is cooked all the way, get all the like germs off of everything and just make sure everything's really moist. And then this rice is pretty done. So yeah, dinner's almost ready and we have about 20 minutes until dinner. So that'll be perfect just in time for this to bake and then cool off. Can't wait. Yum. <laughs> this is the finished product. Yum, I can't wait to eat. Guys, this is so good. I ended up putting soy sauce and sriracha on top of it and oh, it's amazing. So good. Okay, well that's pretty much it. I'm gonna finish the rest of my dinner. Thank you so much for spending the day with me. Don't forget to subscribe to the Sky Family because every sky needs our clouds. And also give this video a big thumbs up or thumbs down. Let me know what you guys think about the whole video in the comments below and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Okay guys, last thing I promise. So I'm having a little trouble naming my last lipstick because I'm so indecisive. So I figured I would put it up on a poll and let you guys pick just to make it a little more fun, personable, and special. So yeah, let me know what you guys, it's been so much fun, and I just wanna share the fun with you guys and also get you guys more involved. So there are four names to my last lipstick shade. I can't wait to see which one you guys pick. And remember, 520 is where I'm from, so yeah.
And I'm also going to be posting this challenge on my cosmetic line Instagram, Sky Beauty. I'll tag it somewhere in this video. So yeah, just in case you guys didn't see it on my actual Instagram or if you guys just want to check out what Sky Beauty is about, I'll be posting pictures very soon.